Hey guys, what's up? It's Exilent here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to stream on Trovo. If you don't know already, Trovo is a streaming platform, and it's a little bit different than other platforms, and I really have been enjoying it. So I thought that I would give a tutorial on how to actually set up your stream on here, because it is a little bit different than other uh, streaming platforms. So if you go to the Trovo.live website and create an account, you're going to click on your name and then go to creator studio and all you have to do is click on how to start and there's a bunch of guides already laid out for you so the first thing you want to do is to sign up and log in and then you can set up all your stream info here um, what i'm going to be showing you guys today is how to stream from obs studio basically you're going to want to go ahead and download obs studio which is from obsproject.com and you're going to download it regardless of if you're on Windows, Mac, or Linux. And basically go ahead and download that. And I'm gonna show you basically the rest. Um, so let's see if they give us recommendations on what type of bitrate that you should use. So if you go to stream settings, here's some bitrate recommendations. Um, they don't really give us much to go off of here as far as um, things like keyframe intervals and such. So we're going to have to kind of test around and see some things. I'll show you guys what I've found that works the best for me. So here's the recommended bit rates for each resolution. And do note that if you stream in 6,000 to 1,000 kilobits per second, it's available to subscribers only. You can turn on subscribers once you get 20 followers, which is pretty lenient compared to other websites. Um, basically, it's just a premium feature that lets people view your stream and it looks a whole lot better um, if they do enable that. What we're gonna do is go ahead and launch OBS Studio if you guys don't have it downloaded already. And it should look something similar to this. The Trovo does not have alerts and everything built in yet. Um, so our scenes are gonna be pretty simple. The first thing that we wanna take a look at is our settings. So if we click on settings here at the bottom right, go ahead and click on stream. So under stream you want to change this service to custom and this is going to be the server which you can find on your uh, Trovo Creator Studio. You're going to copy this uh, host URL and in OBS Studio that's going to be your server. And then you also want to go back to your Creator Studio, copy your stream key and paste it in here. So now you have your server and stream key set up. Let's go ahead and click on output. So for output, you're going to want to click on streaming, and this is where you're going to determine your bitrate. Yours might be set to simple. If it is, go ahead and switch it to autumn or to advanced, and click on the streaming tab. And we're going to set the audio track to one. Your encoder is going to vary different from person to person. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you're going to want to use the NVIDIA NVENC codec. Um, if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, but you have an AMD graphics card, they also have their equivalent software, so you could use that as well. Personally, I've never owned an AMD card, so I'm not really sure how your settings would differ, but you might be able to use this tutorial to hopefully also set it up on an AMD graphics card. And if you do not have an NVIDIA or AMD graphics card, you can try X264, which is going to use your processor to encode. But if you're streaming to a single computer, um, it's going to be really hard to stream most games using X264, so I would not recommend it. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys the NVIDIA NVENC H.264 codec. You want to make sure the Enforce Stream Server Encoder settings is checkmarked. And for the rate control, you want to set this to CBR, which is a consistent bitrate or constant bitrate. And this bitrate is going to determine based on your internet connection. So we're going to go ahead and run a speed test, which if you looked at this guide, it definitely recommends that you use testmynet. Or testmine.net. So you're going to click on test my upload speed and let it run through. And it's going to do a series of tests. Um, it might take a moment just depending on your upload speed. So as you can see here, my upload speed is around 26.6 megabits per second, which would translate over to kilobits per second. So the way that you convert 
megabits per second to kilobits per second. Think of uh, 26.6 .6 being 26,600 kilobits per second. And of course, if you look here, their cap is at 10,000 kilobits per second. So if you have above a 10 megabits per second upload speed, you can try to stream in 10,000. If that doesn't work, you definitely want to lower that. I recommend all, only using about 70% of your bandwidth. They recommend not using more than 75% of your available upload speed. So do keep that in mind. So for this tutorial, we're going to focus on 1080p. So for me, where I would be able to definitely stream it, I'm going to set this to 10,000. And then we're going to hit apply. And keyframe interval, they don't specify what to use here. But with other streaming platforms, they usually recommend two. And I found that it works out pretty good. So go ahead and set this to two. Your preset, you want to keep this on quality. Um, you can try max quality, but sometimes you'll have like uh, frame rate issues with dips and stuff. So I don't really recommend that. For profile, you want to set that to high. And you want to turn on the Saco visual tuning. If you notice that you're dropping frames, you could also try to turn that off. It's just going to utilize the NVENC chip a little bit better. Next thing you want to go to is audio. Make sure it's set to 160 kilobits per second on all tracks. And then we're going to go to audio. Your desktop audio is where you would uh, use your headphones. So for me, where I have a mixer, it would be system. And microphones, pretty self-explanatory. Set that to your microphone and hit apply. As you can see here, now we have the mixer. And for video, depending on your upload speed, um, I would follow this guide as far as recommendations for bit rates and everything if you can't stream to 10,000. So where we're streaming to 10,000, I'm gonna set this to 1920 by 1080 on both the base and output scaled resolution. If you was gonna stream to a lower resolution, you only wanna change the output scaled resolution. So if you wanted to stream to 720p, only change that to 720p. And for your downscale filter, change this to 36 samples. And here you can set your FPS. Um, so if you're playing a fast uh, motion game, definitely set that to 60. If not, set it to 30. And that's pretty much it for settings. The only thing left is to start adding in overlays. And there is various ways that you can do this, but I'm going to recommend that you use stream elements because it's not really going to have much of an effect on your computer and it's going to use a lot less resources than if you was to use something like Streamlabs OBS. I'm going to show you guys that now. Okay, so if you guys don't already, go ahead and make a stream elements account. You'll just go to streamelements.com and create an account. And once you log in, you're going to see your dashboard most likely. Go ahead and click on my overlays. And as you can see here, this is the ones that I have set up currently. This is what I'm using on stream right now. Since we're setting one up from the fresh beginning, go ahead and click on themes over or themes gallery. My bad. I'm getting tongue tied. And you want to find one in here that you like something that works for you. Um, so for instance, let's say if you wanted to the purple wave this one says it's animated we can take a look at it it has follower alerts and everything built in but of course trovo does not support that yet so as you can see here here's like a little talking window here's a starting soon with a countdown um here's the be right back and here's a stream ending so if you wanted to use this overlay click on create my overlay and i'm going to name it tutorial And then you're going to click on see theme in my overlays. It's going to take you to the my overlays page. And here you have a bunch of different overlays that you can edit. So here's the in game talk screen, the ending screen, be right back and start screen. So let's go ahead and start with the start screen. Go ahead and click on edit. And from here you can remove whatever you want. This is pulling data from my um, Twitch account. So of course I'm going to want to hide some of these things. So I'm going to go and find the sub, sub icon, recent tip, top tip, follower icon, cheer, all these and hide them. The ones that's showing up from my Twitch account because Trovo um, doesn't have any way to connect this just yet. 
you definitely want to go ahead and remove all of those so you don't see them on stream especially because you have to link your stream elements account to your twitch account so as you can see all of those have been closed and this one says lines let's see where these go to okay yes i'm going to remove these two so it removes everything at the top and also you want to remove the chat frame and the chat box because you're not going to be able to actually use that yet on Trovo. And basically you can also hide the alert box. And if you want the countdown, you can keep the countdown. If not, then you can remove it and you can change any of this text that you want. So if you wanted to change text, so if we save this, for example, and wanted to change the YouTube to my YouTube um, over here, you can click on these. I would click on YouTube, hit settings, and here you can change your message. So my YouTube is exilent, and as you can see there, it does change it. Hit save, and you can move all these around. That's just showing you how to edit the overlays. I am now going to show you how to add this into OBS. So once you have it set up the way you want, go ahead and click the back arrow. And the one that we just did was the starting screen, so hit preview. And you want to copy all of this. So go ahead and copy it. Go to your OBS. And I'm going to name this scene. So you can right click to rename. I'm going to rename it starting soon. And over here you want to add in a source. And it's going to be a browser source. I'm just going to do starting soon. Source. And you want to paste that URL in here and change the width and height to your stream. So mine will be 1920 by 1080. And then you can hit OK. And where this has a timer, you want the timer to restart each time. Right click it again, go to properties, and click both of these to shut down source when not visible and to refresh browser when source becomes available. That way anytime you go back, it's gonna restart the counter. And you could also edit in some things to add up here if you wanted because it is kind of bland. But that's basically how you add in your scenes. And I'll show you if we make any changes, it'll happen live. So I'm going to put in my Twitter at. So if we go back over to here, click on my overlays and go to edit. We can click on Twitter, hit settings, and I'm going to change it to silent. TV and then hit save and if we go over here it changes real time so any kind of changes you make will actually appear there as well so it's a really good platform for um, creating simple overlays you can also add in your own if you want if you guys want me to make a tutorial I can do so um, if you use stream elements OBS you can actually import from other services so if you have already a scene created in Streamlabs OBS you can literally import it from there if you connect with your Twitch. So I could also make a tutorial on that. This was just basically my tutorial on the settings for Trovo and how to create some overlays for Trovo and how to start streaming. So once you have all of this set up and you think that you're good to go, you can also kind of adjust your mic volume, um, your gameplay volume, stuff like that. All you have to do is click start streaming. And it will let you know down here if you go live and it'll let you know if you drop any frames if everything's going good so basically you should be good to go that's pretty much it for this tutorial if you guys have any other questions just be sure to let me know in the comments below um, I know that this is a lengthy tutorial but I wanted to go ahead and explain everything on how to get started on Trovo so again thanks for watching guys if you also want to check me out on Trovo it's trovo.live forward slash exilent. And I'll go ahead and link that in the description as well as a download to OBS Studio. Have a good one, guys. Peace.